So what's the objective here? Well, they, they, they're going to keep individual score, right? They're going to keep individual score, and then whoever scores the most in the individual will get team points, right? So you either want to score more than your opponent or, or pin him is the ultimate goal, which means that both shoulders have to be flat on the mat, right? And that's how you get the most team points. If you win by different amounts of points, you get different amount of points for the team. So that's the main thing. How do you get points? There's, there's lots of ways to get points. You see how both guys are on their feet right now? Yes. If one guy takes the other guy down, a takedown, that's two points. That means he goes from neutral, both on his feet, to him on top and the other guy on bottom. So we'll see if we get a takedown. Um, if a guy goes from bottom to top, he reverses, that's called a reversal, you get two points. Um, if a guy goes from bottom to escapes, so he gets out and they're both on their feet, that's one point. And then any time you expose the other person's back, those are called near fault, and the ref will start counting, and you can get either two or three points for exposing his back. Right now they're just working for position, so, so they're trying to get inside, maybe grab a leg, or snap the guy down and spin around. There. The ref gives him two. See how now he's behind him on top. Now he's working to turn him, and the other guy's working to get out, right? So this guy in the, in the um, yellow is up 2-0 right now. So they're both working for position. They're both working for position to get a takedown. You should get into a leg. Single leg, double leg, low single. As long as anyone's foot or if anything is touching inside the circle, you're still in bounds. As soon as both people are heavy, heavy, out, heavy, heavy. that's out of bounds. points yet. Both just working for a takedown. What's going on now? Our guy bring him down. Our guy took a shot and the other guy kind of countered it and got a takedown. The other guy got a leg in and then pulled our guy over and got on top. Zero. The top guy has a leg hook, so he's going to use this as leverage to kind of flip the flip our guy over. The other guy has two legs hooked, so he's got pretty good leverage. Um, he's going to try to crank, crank our guy's head down and arm up. Getting anything, but he's getting riding time. If whoever, if anyone gets more than a minute on top, a minute difference, you get an extra point at the end of the match. So this guy has a minute ten right now. Bounce, so it stops, and then we go out again. Not that much score. Was that anything? No, the time ran out before any of that happened. It's the last period, and they choose the bottom. They're up by three points with riding time. So our guy wants to ride him for 11 or 12 seconds to get rid of the riding time. And then maybe let him up and then take him down.
what now? So our guy's down by two now. Oh, great. Blood time. This is blood time. Oh. Another guy bled a little bit on the mat so that they clean it up and, and probably cover. cover whatever's bleeding. The other guy got an escape, so that's 3 0. So soon our guy's gonna try a desperation move, he's gonna try something to score. If he doesn't, he loses. Uh... So the other guy is gonna try to stall a little bit, so to play very defensively and not give up anything. Ten seconds, so he's gonna try to throw a fancy move or something, we'll see. And that's the match. 